toss to Eric. I want to show you another picture, if we can, from Nantucket, uh, where you can definitely see that the surf is getting whipped up there. Yeah, and they've told people to basically stay out of the water, and yet we've seen people out on surfing and uh, doing all kinds of things. Eric, they're not supposed to do that. Well, you know, it's at your own risk. We give the advice, right? We tell you the ocean's going to be rough, certainly going to be dangerous out there. Some people are still going to take advantage of it, and certainly some big waves today. The ocean will continue to get more chaotic as we head into the day tomorrow, and those waves will continue to build. Now, a wind gusts tomorrow, 40 to 60 miles per hour at the coast, mainly southeastern mass, which will produce some downed trees, some pockets of outages. Rainfall looks to be about one to three inches. Again, southeastern Massachusetts. We'll see if some of those heavier bands can work their way just as shore as we head into late tomorrow and tomorrow night. And at the coastline, minor coastal flooding, some pockets of moderate coastal flooding possible, especially on Nantucket, north side of the island. That's where we'll see the most significant water. And the erosion, I still think, is going to be the biggest overall story with Jose. It's still a, trop or a hurricane at 75 mile per hour winds. And you can see it all curled up off to our south. We'll continue on a track southeast of Nantucket as we head through the day tomorrow and not moving too quickly. Right now, it's only at about eight miles per hour. Been seeing some showers, a few downpours lifting up across the area this evening. That will continue on and off throughout the overnight and into tomorrow. Most of the steadier rainfall focusing toward the Cape and the islands. You notice the real big shield of rain likely is going to stay just offshore. It's ticked just a little farther east today compared to what we saw yesterday. But as we head into tomorrow night and Thursday morning, we'll still see some of these bands coming back across Cape Cod and the islands. And the big question for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday is exactly where this storm drifts. Does it get a little bit of separation away from our coast, or does it stay close enough to keep rain showers coming down across Cape Cod? and the islands. So in terms of rainfall through tomorrow and into th Thursday morning, again, your biggest amounts toward Cape, Nantucket, Martha's Vineyard, a few scattered showers, some much needed rain for inland areas, and that will be about it there. Now, although the storm will weaken to a tropical storm, its wind field is very large. Everything in yellow here kind of looks like an egg yolk. The yellow stuff is going to be your tropical storm force winds. They extend out more than 300 miles. So as we head into tomorrow morning, and especially tomorrow afternoon and evening, those stronger winds will be grazing Cape Cod and Nantucket, as well as the vineyard, which is why we still anticipate some strong gusts, even with the center staying well out to sea. And those winds are going to stay up as we head into Thursday, Friday, perhaps even Saturday, especially if you're on the Cape, the islands, the South Shore. So on Wednesday morning, we're gusting about 30 to 40. The winds pick up a little bit more as we head toward the evening, especially toward Nantucket. Inland areas, it's noticeably windy, but likely not producing much of any damage. And then on Thursday, we still have these north-northeast winds. And I think for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we'll stay in that 20 to 45 mile per hour range across the South Shore, the Cape, and the islands. And so that's going to keep the ocean up. It's also going to be really obnoxious for all of you that live there because the wind is going to be there for days on end. Wave heights continue to build off to our south. Again, the ocean gets angrier tomorrow. We'll see some of that minor coastal flooding. There's a high tide right around midnight tonight, another one around lunchtime tomorrow. And because this will be so persistent, I think beach erosion is that main calling card. A lot of beaches getting beaten up by the storm for the rest of the week. Big question is, where does it drift? Again, does it get a bit of separation that brings in more sun for inland areas or farther west? That keeps showers coming in and some stronger winds. The idea here for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday is that you, as, as you head toward interior New England, you'll get more sun, warm temperatures. Boston area, south and east, more clouds, more onshore flow, more 60s will be expected in all those spots. Quick mention on Maria tonight, a Category 5 hurricane bearing down on St. Croix, Puerto Rico by tomorrow morning, 165 mile per hour winds. Hopefully everyone on Puerto Rico finding a safe spot for the night and just waiting the storm out. It's going to be a very rough one there. So there's the seven-day outlook. Again, still a little uncertainty Thursday, Friday, Saturday, how far away Jose gets from us. But the grayest skies, coolest temps will be at the coast. David and Lisa, back to you.